This is my list of five features from the Allen and Heat feature request community page for CQ series mixes. These features will mostly be relevant to the CQ12T and 18T as they have a built-in touchscreen display. Feature number one, lock screen options. Being able to lock the screen would allow for easier cleaning of dust or moisture from the mixer during performing. This is also useful as while being away on a break, being able to lock the mixer would prevent anyone from adjusting your mix. The lock screen feature is available and very useful on the SQ series mixes with the ability to have different users as well. At the moment, there is no ability for different users like admin or client to separate permissions or features. This could be incorporated in the CQ series mixes to restrict certain features such as deleting presets or scenes which would make it easier to lend the mixer for others to use. The lock mixer button could be placed on the main home page next to the shutdown button and ask the user if they want the main mix to be muted while the mixer is locked. This feature is very popular and Keith, the product lead, has talked about it on their live streams, so hopefully it will be implemented in a future update. Feature number two, mute groups, subgroups, and DCAs. This is also a popular post on the community page as the feature would allow quick actions to be performed to the mute groups if they were connected to the soft keys. Subgroups and DCAs could be combined into one fader, allowing for mute, fader changes, and group processing to be done. This is fairly advanced, so maybe it could be incorporated in a new advanced tab inside the output section where users can assign these subgroups. The existing output page can remain as it is for users who are new to the mixer, as it's very useful and easy to understand. But having an advanced tab would allow experienced users more versatility and more routing options while using the mixer. This ability to configure tracks into group mutes is also available on the Mackie DL16S via the app, but it would be great if this was possible on the CQ mixers as well. Feature number three, managing recordings. This is a feature I didn't really think about, but having even a basic file manager to rename, reorder, or even delete multi-track or stereo recordings would help while moving files to the computer for remixing. When I'm about to record a session, I like to know how much time I have left until the SD card is full. So with my tracks armed, I do a quick recording test to know the time left. As the mixer doesn't have the ability to delete recordings, the extracting and reorganizing of these tracks post-session are somewhat frustrating and being able to rename or even delete the folders through the mixer would be extremely useful and save a lot of time. One user suggested extending the word cap limit on the merge track recordings from eight characters. This would again help with organizing in post-production. Since buying the mixer, I've done a ton of multi-track recordings and although I can work without this feature, I think now that I know about it, I really want it to be in the mixer. Speaking of multi-track recordings, I'm not sure if this is even possible, but the ability to play backing tracks from the SD card and multi-track record them along with the analog inputs is another feature that I and many others wish could be implemented and would truly take this mixer to the next level. Maybe the assigned inputs can be converted to playback outputs and multi-track recorded to the SD card. This would bypass the door completely in a lot of situations and would make this mixer even more versatile. If the ability to SD playback and record is not possible, I wonder if this could be substituted by allowing tracks to be moved from the SD card to the USB storage. This would give the user the ability to play back at least two mono tracks of the stereo mix back through the USB outputs and re-record on the SD card. Again, I'm not sure if this is possible, but I can see a lot of use cases for this and would love to have this feature. Feature number five, digital clock features. One final feature I personally would like to request is having a digital clock. This is mainly because I think that the main homepage looks too simple and the space could be used in a more effective way. A clock added to the space would give us a reference as to how much time is left until the show or how much time has elapsed since. Some stopwatch features would also be cool to set time limits for setups or packdowns. One user pointed out that the CQ mixers may not have an internal clock, but I wonder if this could be done by relaying time information from the CQ4U app, which would only work while the app is connected. I'm sure Alan and Heath have seen these requests on the form already, but if there are any features that you like from this video or would like to suggest more features, please head to the CQ form page and engage or post your requests there. One of the cool and underrated abilities of this mixer is to use Logix plugins live. If you want to know how to set this up, watch this video here.